this video. I'm like so excited Santa came, but like not yet because it's like technically the 24th, but Santa's coming tonight, so <laughs> I'm so excited. How's it teach? Ah, by Amy Kristoff. Amy Kristoff, that's not, nope. Kaufman, I was gonna say Kristoff again. Question number four is, it's, I was gonna say it's Easter, it's not Easter, it's Christmas. <laughs> It's Jay and today I am here with the All I Want for Christmas book tag. It was originally created by A Thousand Lives of Daisy. Wasn't actually tagged by anybody but I'll leave her link down below. And without further ado, let us get started! First question is what fictional character do you want Santa to leave under your Christmas tree? My answer to this is Cardova from Night Film because I honestly think that it would be so interesting to talk to him and like nobody knows where he is so I think that it would be cool to like pick his brain. So like Santa if you could just slide him under my Christmas tree so that I can like ask him all the questions because I still don't know the answers after reading that book which like that book killed me so like five out of five stars like I have a review if you want to check it out and like the picture is only up because Dan has my copy of it which she still hasn't read yet so like Dan can you hurry up and read it so that I can like talk to you about it and like express my feelings <laughs> thanks second question is what character do you want to kiss under the mistletoe and I <laughs> am going with Jest from Heartless by Marissa Meyer oh my god he is like the sweetest little thing in the entire world and I just love him so much newest book boyfriend like huh, he's beautiful he's wonderful and I just I can't also like he could entertain me with all his like little tricks and magic and jokes and stuff and like you know you got like a boy with a sense of humor so just call me question three is you write your Christmas list for Santa what are the top five books on your list. I have like way too many to count, but I'm just gonna go off the top of my head the first five that I think of are probably the ones that I want the most. So probably I would say Illuminate by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. Like I want to read that so bad. It seems so cool. Everyone says it's amazing and Gemini came out and everyone says Gemini is amazing and I just want to be in on the amazingness. So definitely that. This is where it ends by Mary Kay something. I can't say her name. Like school shooting. Sounds really good. Sounds really interesting, and I want to know how it ends. If I Was Your Girl by Meredith Russo, I've wanted to read that for so long. Um, like, oh, it just seems so good, and like, I just need it in my life. Court of Thorns and Roses, or, well, I guess, and A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J. Mass, because everyone's talking about it right now, and there's like a huge funk about it, so I want to see what it's all about, and I haven't read it yet, so I don't know, but everyone still loves the book, even though there's like all this like drama with it right now. So I want to read it really badly. And then. The Sun is also a star by Nicola Yoon because everybody says that's amazing as well. So basically, all five of my books is just because everybody says they're amazing, so I want them in my life. I would love the necklace that Tessa wears in The Infernal Devices by Cassandra Clare. If you've read the book, you know what it does. But like, honestly, I think that it would be so dang cool to have that necklace. Like, you ain't gotta worry about anything. You can just run around and be like, we good fam, I ain't gonna get in trouble at all because like, necklace. Question number five is you get to hang out with the characters of a fandom and the movie adaptation of that fandom. Who would you hang out with? I'm going with the cast of Heartless. Like it's not a movie adaptation, but like it would be a pretty cool movie adaptation. But I'm going with everybody from Heartless because honestly, like Cheshire, yes please, Hatta, yes please, Jest, obviously yes please, Kath, like, eh, like I'll hang out with you, but like, stay away from Jest, and like, the king can stay home because I don't like the king. I think that there would be so much fun to hang out with, and also like, hanging out in Wonderland would also be really cool. But like, can we have Kath when she's like, not really mean yet? Like, can we have her when she's nice and a baker so she can supply snacks for us? Because I feel like snacks are needed at a gathering. Question number six is, what fictional animal would you like to replace Rudolph on your roof? Again, I am going with Cheshire from Heartless. Because honestly, I just need him in my life. A talking cat that disappears. It would just be so adorable and fun to talk to, and also like you could get up to a lot of like mischief, just saying, with this little kitty kitty. So I would definitely want Cheshire, and he's also like super sarcastic, so I feel like we would get along really well. Question seven is you invite 10 fictional characters to your New Year's Eve party. Who would you invite? I'm totally gonna cheat for this question and say that like, it's like books, so like I'm picking 10 books and the people in those books get to come because like you can't split certain people up, okay? You just can't do it. And if I was going to do it based off people, then like I would have like two books because like I need everybody in the cast to come. Okay, do you understand? Okay, let's start. First off, I go Captain Thorne and Winter from the Luna Chronicles by Marissa Meyer. Everyone else, like, I don't really care if you come. Ooh, Wolf can come too. I would like Wolf there. But like Scarlet can stay home because she's kind of annoying. And like Cinder, I guess she can come, but like it's not a priority. Like three people that I really want there would be Captain Thorne, Winter, and Iko because they're just 
They are everything. Crest can like come too as long as she stays away from Captain Thorne because like mine. Then I would let Levi come from Fangirl because he's a little baby angel unicorn. And I just think he's adorable and like he can leave Kath at home because she's kind of annoying. Like he can also bring Reagan because like she's super sarcastic and I'm like also super sarcastic so I feel like we would get along really well. So like Levi and Reagan are the only two that are allowed to come. Everyone else from this book can just stay at home. And then I would invite Will and Jem from the Infernal Devices trilogy by Cassandra Clare. Because, like, you can't separate Will and Jem, and also they're both adorable, so they can both come. And also, like, Will is hilarious, and Jem is kind of, like, the bringing you back into reality, like, Will, calm yourself, but also, like, he's really cute, too, so, like, they can both come. Then I would also invite Georgia and Tallulah, who are from the Louise Renison series. I think that they're both really funny, and together, I feel like they would be hilarious. So, they can both come, and I feel like we would all get along really well. Like, honestly, I'm just picking, like, either cute boys or funny characters. Because I don't want any, like, moody people there. Like, I just know. Just, you're not allowed to come to my party. You can't sit with us. Then, I would invite Karoo from... The... What is this called? Daughter of Smoke and Bone Trilogy? Is that what it's called? I don't know. But I would invite Karoo because I feel like she has so many stories that she could tell, and I feel like it would be really entertaining to have her there. And also, like, she has blue hair, so, like... I want a friend with blue hair, so, like, you can come, correct? And also, I feel like if she brought, like, Brimstone and everybody else from, like, that world, I think that that would be super cool, too, because they would have a lot of stories to tell as well. I would invite R from Warm Bodies by Isaac Marion, because R just makes my heart happy. I don't care that he's a zombie. I would still love him and cherish him. I mean, like, Julie can stay home because Julie bothered me, but, like, R can come to my party. Then I would invite basically the entire cast of Vinyl by Sophia Elaine Hansen. Tara can stay home, but, like, Rorik and Ranja and Henry and Ivy and Eve. Basically, like, the five main characters, they can all come because, like, I, you can't separate them. They're, like, a package deal, and also I just love them all. So, like, Tara, stay home, but everyone else, you can come along to my party, and we can party it up. I would also invite Star from The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. I'm reading this right now, and Star is honestly so funny. The things that she says and thinks are just so hilarious. And I feel like she would be so much fun to hang out with, and also she really likes basketball, so like, connection, like, we would get along great. So she can also come to my party. I would also invite Collins from Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson Because I think he's hilarious, and he is such an underrated character, and I just love him so much, and I would love to meet him, and I think he would be a lot of fun to hang out with. My two final characters that can come to my party would be Allie and Kat from Alice in Zombieland by Jenna Schulwater. I think that they are hilarious together, and also, like, Alice is just like, a kick-ass female. So both of them together, they can come to my party, and we can be a little trio and best friends forever. The final question is, who do you think would make a excellent Santa Claus? Without, like, looks being taken into consideration, it can be personality too. And I personally think that Aunt Jay from Burned by Ellen Hopkins would make the perfect Santa Claus because she just pays attention to everything. And I feel like she would know exactly what everybody wants. She's also just, like, a super giving person, and just, I feel like she would be a great Santa Claus, and she would get everybody what they actually wanted instead of, like, the ants that get you, like, a bar of soap, and you're like, wow, thank you. I love it. Alright guys, so I, I tag everybody who wants to do this because like Christmas is here and like let's get festive. So I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!